amblyopia, eye patching, does it really work? Hi everyone, it's Dr. Sam and I've been getting a number of questions from parents who have kids who have been diagnosed with amblyopia, better known as lazy eye. And the standard treatment that's offered is eye patching. So let's talk about the research first. Uh, there are a number of research studies. One was done at Harvard uh, where they actually did these animal studies uh, with uh, cats in terms of occluding one of their eyes. And what they uh, discovered was is that the critical period of when you should be patching an eye uh, is expanded, which means that um, there is some plasticity in the brain where you can actually work with older children and even adults to make improvements in the lazy eye condition. I would also quote the work of Dr. Martin Birnbaum in 1977. He did a number of studies with adults who were diagnosed with lazy eye amblyopia, and he administered vision therapy, which is a form of physical therapy, and he got very good results in improving binocular vision. And then there is Dr. Sue Berry, who's a neurobiologist, and she was diagnosed with strabismus as a child. She also had strabismus surgery. And as an adult, she went through vision therapy and she was able to uh, get stereo vision again. So in terms of my own clinical practice, uh, I find that eye patching is both very traumatic, confusing, and ineffective. Whenever you patch an eye, what you're telling the child is, is basically the midline, the middle of their vision is not there anymore. And so now the middle is just based on the eye that is not covered. And the other thing about patching is, is that it's very traumatic when you offer a patch to a child and you say, wear it two to six hours a day. There's no learning involved in it. It's basically a forcing of getting one eye to perhaps work better, but in the end, it doesn't work. It's not effective. The best way to improve amblyopia or lazy eye is twofold. Number one, we know that the brain um, is part of the eye. The eye actually originates from brain tissue in fetal development at about nine weeks we actually see the embryo's brain and the eyes are growing out from that. So every tissue of the eye is brain tissue, which means there is the potential of neurogenesis, which means to regenerate or create new pathways in the eyes. So in terms of the vision therapy, this is the physical therapy that I, I administer in my practice, is that I offer things like primitive survival reflex therapy, gross motor and then fine motor activities, which includes visual tracking, a visual focusing and visual coordination exercises. If we do any eye patching, it's done actively while we're performing a physical therapy exercise, but that's the only time that I would use an eye patch. Because overall, what a child needs to do is they need to learn to use both eyes together. And they're never going to do that by using an eye patch.